Hello everyone, and welcome to Corman Gaming. I am Corman, and this is Lie Eat 2. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, about a year ago I had this thing called uh, Turn-Based Weekends, where every weekend I would play two hours of a turn-based RPG. One of those weekends I played Lie Eat, which was about... A dragon that ate lies. Now, of course, when I downloaded the game, it came with technically three games. The first, the second, and the third. And this is the second one. I'll post a link uh, to the first one. Um, maybe I might be able to do it in the, in the description if I remember. But I'll definitely have it at the end of this video. So that you could probably go back and watch it. So I don't, I'm a little foggy about the first one, but I remember some things. Once upon a time, there was a fluffy white sheep. The sheep fed on nightmares, so it lived off of the nightmares of the humans around it. That's a demonic sheep, then. That ain't no sheep that I remember. But one day, the sheep grew tired of the taste of nightmares. Just then, it saw a girl having a wonderful, happy dream. Obviously, she's daydreaming because she's standing up and not sleeping. The sheep secretly ate her happy dream. It was delighted by the taste. But the girl whose dream was stolen became little more than an empty shell. The end. That sounds like something like Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants would make up. There was a little sheep, and it ate everyone's dreams and made them an empty shell. The end. And everyone died. <laughs> what was I born for? Why can I eat people's dreams? Is this okay? Is it okay to just eat them? Huh. I'd better go to bed. Okay, an interesting way to start. Hat's a little big on me. Well, shouldn't matter. Hey, can you really just take those? The guy was just sleeping. Sure I can. I mean, I left him my clothes, didn't I? And I blew near all our money on your new clothes. Well, okay, but these clothes, didn't they get really stinky when you fell in that horse stuff last town? Can't complain when it's on the house, hmm? A badge? What's that? These are what guards wear. You telling me that dumb-looking doofus was a guard? A guard for a pleasure resort? Herod? Close, close, but no cigar. It says Harold. So Harold will be my new name. Her... Hal works. That's probably easier for you to remember. Gotcha! I think this is... Is this the same one? She looks a little different, but I think it's because she's grown up. This is what I loved about it. It had, like, uh, perfectly, like, hand-drawn animations. I loved it, that, about the game. Wonder if they'll recognize me by face. I did try to mimic his hair. If we're lucky, we might even get to stay the night in this resort. But any hitches and we're making our getaway. Got it? What kind of place is it? It's got fun and games. Fun? Games? Hooray! Don't get too wild now. Athena and Hal. Um, wasn't his name Leo last time? Yeah, this is definitely the same guy. A little knife. Blue guard uniform, a little small and tight. Diamond ornaments, hard. Gonna turn down the volume for me. That's a little loud. She's a level one again. Come on. Tate's weird. Blue sailor suit. Very refreshing. Blue earmuffs. Hat sold separately. Lies with every breath. Well, equip it because that's what he does. Now, I wonder if they changed the. The, uh, oh, 
I was looking for a run button, but I don't think there is one. I wonder if they changed the, uh... The way the battles went. If I'm not mistaken, it was sort of like you had to weaken the enemy and then eat them, if I'm not mistaken? I could be wrong about that. There's no status m menu. Hello! Welcome to Azure Town. This is our prized resort, but only authorized personnel are allowed inside currently. So who are you? Name yourself. Yes, number 3-055, Harold Radford, reporting for duty. Number 3-055, Harold Radford. This must be the new guard that was to start today, brother. Aha! Harold, how old are you? 18, sir. I see. If I might say, your eyes seem so mature for a man of your age. Good eyes. Eyes that have stared down death and made it alive. Tell me about it. But still, no alcohol. That'll get you fired on the spot. Yeah, considering he's 18, like, no matter where he... Well, no. In Canada, at least, he has to be 19. And in the States, he has to be 21, so... But anywhere else, I think it's fair game. Hmm? Who's that child? Effie, I'm Papa's... This is my little sister, Afina. Just smacks her. Aha, you don't look like anything alike, though. We don't look alike either, so we shouldn't speak ill of these siblings now, should we? In, in what way do you not look alike? <laughs> uh, is it all... Is it all right if I ask you something? Certainly. Would it be possible for us to lodge a while at the resort? Hmm, perhaps it's best you ask the manager. Have you some need? Actually, we're looking for our mother. Our dad's already passed away, so we left home without hesitation, and now we're traveling to find mom. But we need money for that, so I just have to keep ta taking brief jobs like these. I see, it would be perhaps too costly to go to an inn in terms of both time and money. What a thoughtful youth! Personally, yes, I would gladly accept. I firmly believe that the manager will allow it as well. Thank you so much. If anything should come up, feel free to count on us. I am the elder brother, Tom. And I'm the younger brother, Mars. Okay, thank you again. May happiness come to you. Woo! No alcohol. You're 18, Papa? No, that's drinking age. Found the guy's age along with his badge. <laughs> drinking age? But no, it should be 19. Again, probably wrong. Oh, and those dogs could talk. That's so cool. They're not dogs, they're humans. What? People used to have all kinds of categories and races depending on how you looked. But now we just call everybody humans. So what's different between those guys and dogs? People walk on two legs and talk. Anything else is an animal. About the only creatures that look human but aren't called it these days are dragons. What's the difference between dragons and humans? I guess that dragons can use magic and people can't. People can't eat lies or be immortal or pass through walls and floors. And humans, and a human's head doesn't spit fire when they're half asleep. Eh. <laughs> wow, I feel like he's being a little vengeful there. Let's look for the manager. Forget to ask what they even look like. Forgot to ask what they even look like. Huh. Newspaper here is a big headline. Phantom Thief strikes again. Lots of books. Okay, so we're probably going to deal with the Phantom Thief this time. In the other game, I believe it was a vampire threat. Okay, that was a door. Ooh, nice. Lifeless eyes. What are these? Are these, like, are these air hockey tables? Dude, let's play! Aw, oh, come on! Would have been nice. I mean, I can't blame the developers for that one, but... Would have been cool if you got a mini game of air hockey. Lots of books. Lots of stuff on table. What did that say? Large stocks of... The, <laughs> the first place I go into is the bar, yes. Let's drink. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Fina is definitely older, but like, I don't know how long it's been. Hello? It's hard to tell what's a door and what's not. 
this shouldn't take me too long to get through. Like, the other game only took me, like, two hours. Like, I actually beat it in those two days, but... Depending on how many more is in here. And I say two hours, and I like to... As I'm doing right now, I like to search everything. <laughs> I'm very thorough. Get around the table. Excuse me. I still have my cold. I'm just... I just finished doing the whole D&D &D annoyance at the Azcan t uh, temple. There's something here. Got serrated knife at small turret. Nice. Equip it. This is what happens when... Oh, that's, a, that's an upgrade. This is what happens when you look. Thank you for rewarding me for being thorough. All right, nothing over there. Let's go look over here. Up here, then. Expensive-looking alcohol. Lots of books. Various kinds of alcohol. There's something here. Got Big Lyre and Dragon Aura. Oh, again! Thank you! I feel like this is just, like... Grawl! Don't know. Nice. Okay, you must be the owner, because you're the only other person I've seen so far, so I'll wait. A wooden rocking horse. Lots of books, lots of books, lots of books. I feel like this is going to be our room, but I'll hold off on that. Hello, important looking sir or ma'am. Did I just take money? I got a... I think I just took money. <laughs> well, I'm gonna save. Hello. You are a ma'am. That was for orphans. Oh, yeah, yeah, I stole money. <laughs> oh, do we have customers? This isn't the place for games. I thought we were told that it has fun and games. Oh, look at the size of those. Pardon me, I'm Harold, and I'll be working here as a guard for a little while. Athena's looking at titties. I was looking for someone, the manager? But you see, since I'm new, I'm not even sure what kind of person I'm looking for. Oh, is that right? The manager is a woman with bandages around her forehead, around her face. I think you'll know her right away once you see her. I see, thank you very much. I hear this new guard was a younger kid, but you look pretty mature. It is an honor to hear you say so, miss. <laughs> so went a bit ag she went a bit ago out oh she went out learn to read she went out a bit ago so she might not be back quite yet she's never gone long so perhaps you'll bump into her if you just walk around i must mention we do get quite a few unruly guests but good luck with the job yes ma'am looking thank you Athena, come on stop stop looking at titties so just wander around. I've already wandered around, so I just need to wander around and look for this person. Hello, is there a woman with bandage round face? I half expect her to just for me to just turn around the corner and she'd just be there like blah. I remember that's like the first one had an element of like mystery to it. Um maybe some horror. Oh, that must be her. Hello! Nope! That's not... not her. That is a him, I'm guessing. It's hard to tell with, with this game. There's a lot of characters that look female, but are actually male. It's the anime aesthetics. Eh? Visitors? Still getting ready here. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Harold. I'll be working here as a guard, briefly. Harold. All oh, right, gotcha. Heard about ya. If you want the manager, she should be back soon. What's the manager like? Manager looks really sour, but she's got a good ass and damn legs. Whoa, another one. Didn't see you there, Shorty. And I'm sure surprised to see you've got a kid. Uh, you knew I wasn't Harold from the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, because I'm a friend of his. Of course, he's a loser and an awful drunk, so truth is, I hate his guts. Yeah, never really a good combination. Don't worry, I won't tell nobody. Heck, I'm thankful you're here instead of that jerk. But maybe it'll, it'll be trouble, I know. I'll make a prank call. <laughs> uh... You're just like Hal. Say what, Runt? How is this guy like me? Huh? You are? Hey, patched up guy. Patched up guy. List your three favorite things. 
Oh, the name's Lucas, and I guess I like beer, money, and women. See? The same! No way, this guy's a womanizer. Me? I'm what you call a gentleman. <laughs> He's offended. Got that backwards, bud. You picking a fight? They're exactly alike. But maybe that doesn't mean they can't they can get along. Hey Mr. Lucas, what else do you like? Oh well, given the job I do, I like seeing people be happy in fun filled places like this. What the heck's that? You lied. Get up get on it, runt. Enough with the runt stuff! Call me Effie! It's my name! It's the little lie he told! I could probably kill this thing easily. Ah, oh, she has no skills. Do you have skills? You have a knife and a grenade. Throw knife! Don't worry about what comes after the throw! <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Just, just, just use grenade. It's a little lie, so... Ow. Yay! So, this girl can make lies manifest and eat them. You told a lie, so it appeared as a monster. Hmm, so you actually hate seeing people happy. Hmm, I see. Not so much hate, I just don't care. Gotta admit, people's sorrows seem a bit more on the interesting side to me. What a weirdo. Hey, look who's talking! I'd say the same of you. Would other people's misfortune actually make equally happy, happy things happen to me? Sounds like a pretty lousy way of thinking. Hate it! Boy, you're weird. But when hell gets sad, it makes me sad too. Seriously? Then you're a weirdo too. Oh? So we're all weirdos here! Hooray! Oh, I love the way she thinks. So, is the tiny one a dragon or something? Oh, correct! Yeah, well, we've sort of got one of our own. A dragon, you mean? Well, it's kind of... Well, it's a kid the manager picked up somewhere a couple months ago. He eats dreams or something, and only dragons can do that kind of magic stuff, right? Of course, never seen it myself, and the manager says he's a human, not a dragon. A dream-eating dragon. The cops never got on your case for hauling a dragon around? Hey, it's not like we're doing anything wrong. I only take her along because she's unruly and she does weird stuff. Hmm, gotcha. Oh, dang, I gotta clean up before I get in trouble again. Alright, beat it, guys. Manager's gotta be back by now. Yeah, good luck. I, I don't need a guy like you cheering me on. Oh, wow, he just ought to... Oh, time to back to work. Excuse me. Oh, this cold of mine is going to slow things down. Just as soon as he starts work again, it's just like, I'm an asshole again. Maybe that intel that there was a dragon in town was right. Gathering info this time? Yep. Info on dragon sells well. Plus, we might even learn a thing or two about you. Really? Really? What's got you so happy? I wonder if the manager's back. Let's look around some more. I always assume that the manager's going to be like, Here. Hello. Um... Yep, definitely her. What do you suppose I'm about to transform into? Huh? Penguin! A penguin! I see, indeed. It's as a guess as good as any. You'll see that there's nothing up my sleeve. She knows magic. Three. Two. What? Are you really going to turn into a penguin? I want to be one, too. One. Um, the answer was a sheep. Where did that woman... She vanished instantly! How? I was watching! What? <laughs> eh. So, are you a customer? No, surely not. To be inside at this time. You're a trespasser. Ow! Miss, why? Why? A little girl? Ah, Tom and Mars told me about you, so you're the little sister of the new guard. And he's the new guard. Oh, that's the dragon, the sheep dragon. Beg for your life. Ah, uh, no, I mean to say, I must, I've been most impolite. Apologies, I used to be an executioner. I still have some habits. Oh, I like her. I like her a lot. <laughs> and you struck me as exceptionally shady, so... Are you hurt? No, it's fine. Damn! Gotta work on my style. It's really my fault for making such an abrupt request. You mean lodging here? Oh, not at all. There are guest rooms on the second floor which you may use. 
We have spare rooms, so... Yes, you can certainly use the far room on the west side. Damn, I was wrong. Your main duties as a guard are to patrol the interior and prevent trouble between guests. But there are occasionally some rowdy, hot-blooded ones. Report those to me, please. I see why she's the manager! Uh, so you could transform them? No, so that I can bring the whip down upon them. I'm really in your debt. Uh, I should introduce myself. I'm Sophia Juanelli. Juanel? And to my right is... I'm William. You can call me Will. Hi, Will. Will? Are you a dragon? <laughs> no, no. I have horns, yes. But they're sheep horns. Liar! Oh, is there... Oh, so they're different. Wait. That didn't cause a lie. Hang on a minute. <laughs> well, I have other preparations to make, so if you'll excuse me. Bye-bye! Goodbye. He wanted to say bye-bye, too. Hey, Runt. If you straight up ask someone if they're a dragon, they won't just say yes. Why not? Yes, she would. I keep telling you, dragons are rare creatures. Since they're rare, bad guys target them. That's why they usually hide it, you know? The police guys can be more open about it because they're strong enough to protect themselves. Hmm. But you never really stop me from telling people I'm a dragon, Hal. Uh, I don't like this conversation. Let's find our room and rest. Hey, for real, tell me! Yeah, I know where my room is. Goddamn nose. Go up the stairs. So this is our room. I've got work to do tonight, so I'm going to rest some. If you don't bother anybody, you can wander around and have some fun. You gonna work? Guess I came here as the Guard Herald. Because I came here as the Guard Herald, see? I'm no pro at impersonation, but it's not hard if my first time meeting these guys. It's not my, if it's my first time meeting these guys. Don't tuck yourself out. You mean physically or in terms of lying? Um, both. Right, gotcha. If you leave the resort, don't head into town. Place is huge as hell. Oh, and here's your snack. Eat it when you get hungry. Yay! Now I'm all by myself. What? I want to play. Let's play. Nah, I don't want to expend my energy on you. Let's play. Not happening. Then give me some sweets to eat. I just did. Some more. More. Ahem. Just a little. Stop shouting. You're making my ears ring. Please. All right, fine. Here, go. Now go play elsewhere. Hooray. What? I'm not giving you any more. You have some too, Hal. Sweet things make you happy. Sh sure, thanks. Hee <laughs> hee. Even though this candy was mine to begin with. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Ooh. Gave me lots of candy. Doot, doot. I keep wanting to run, but there's no run. Unless there is, and I'm just not finding it. Nobody here. Do, do, do. I think the only reason he lets her wander around is because she comes back with valuable info. If I remember correctly from the first one. Where's the bar? Where's the bar? Find the bar. Find the bar. The bar was downstairs, wasn't it? Oh, hello! You're she You're William! Wh what is it? I want to play! Let's play! Uh, let's play! Uh... Sure, okay. You asked if I was a dragon before, right? Yeah! If I, you know, if I were a dragon, would you know why I was born? Or why dragons are born? Um, I don't know. Even the dragons I know haven't told me that kind of stuff. Uh, like me, I can eat lies. Like me, I can eat lies, but even I don't know why I can. You eat lies? So you're like me. You eat lies too, Will? Well, not lies, something else. I can eat them because nothing else makes me full. But I don't know why I'm able to either. I don't know. Huh? That's okay, it might take a while before you'll find out. Really? 
Papa's a big liar, so but I won't lie to you. I'll try to find out too, so don't look sad. Uh, okay, thanks. Oh god. Uh, damn cold. I'll do what I can too. It's something I don't know about myself after all. But by Papa, do you mean that big man from earlier? Erp. Keep it secret. I called him Papa. I'll get in trouble. Okay, it's safe with me. Sometimes I'll call Miss Sophia Mom too. Oh, good. So it's not just me. You must really like your dad, huh? Yeah, I love him lots. I can tell. You have such a tasty smell. Eh? Um. Uh, mm -hmm. Forget I said that. What was that? What the? What, what did you just do? Hmm? Said what? Which thing? Nothing. I need to get ready, so I'll see you later. Okay, bye bye. Oh. Wait. I thought he just got rid of dreams. Did he just outright erase her memory from the last thing he just said? You little prankster. Get back over here. What are they doing? What are they doing? I can't even examine them. They're just... Just hopping on one spot up there. Do, 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 do. Hello! Hey, Missy, want to play with me? Yeah. Hey, what are you playing? You see, besides serving drinks, I do tricks here. Want to see me practice? Tricks? What are these? Playing cards. With just a deck of these, you can play all sorts of games. Whoa, it's got different pictures on each. Pretty. <laughs> Never seen anybody get so enthused over cards. Now pick one. Anyone. Just don't show it to me. And hey, write your name on it with this pen. Got it. Yeah. Um, written. Wait, that's cheating, isn't it? Good. Keep it face down and put it in that pile. At a girl, now I'll shuffle. Whoa, speedy! Love the art. Just definitely love the art. Tell me to stop any time. Stop! Alrighty, so little miss, isn't this your card? That's the one! Ooh, he's got a nice little scar on his face. Success! Whoa, wow, whoa, good job! <laughs> it makes me smile to see you so glad about it. Oh, hey, Missy, what's your name? Athena. Then you spelled it wrong. Should be E-F-I-N-A. -E you wrote E-F-A-N-A. -A. Aw, oh, I thought I got it right. Just a little off. You'll get it next time. Yeah. All right, I'll let you have this ace of hearts, my dear Athena. That pen you used was erasable, so just rub it off. Rub it a little and it'll come off. Yay! Oh, I was going to ask, does he have to replace his cards every time he does that trick? Because somebody writes their name on the cards. But no, it's erasable. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Lucas! Hey, Mr. Lucas, are those stitchy scars from injuries? Eh? They're for style. Got real ones, too, though. Oh, so how is he stylish too, or is it trendy? Ha, <laughs> he's got scars too? Yeah, he's got stitches around his belly button. Ugh. Huh? Where'd you get hurt to get real scars, Mr. Lucas? Oh, my girlfriend stabbed me. Eh. <laughs> uh, this is the second time in, like, this, like, from the first one, there was somebody who just nonchalantly came out and said something that was dark and bad like I'm pretty sure it was one girl was just like oh yeah my brother's awesome but there was this one time he strangled me and she made that same face she's like eh and this time it's just like hey did you get those scars yeah my girlfriend stabbed me eh. I tell you she acts so graceful but she's got me on lockdown can't go chat with another woman don't grow up to be that kind of girl Afina I don't really get it but got it gonna be night Soon, customers are coming. I recommend staying in your room when they're here. No, not wandering around. Okay. All right, see ya. So, I guess I go back to... What? Huh? A lie? Whose? 
like I care. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna fill my tummy. Nom, 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 nom. I don't. It's a lie. I have skills, but I'm saving them. Yummy! Woo! Level up! Um, I hear a bunch of chattering people coming, I guess? Now what? I'll go back to Papa for now. Yes, let's go back to Papa. Papa! Give me more can- Fuck! Tables, my nemesis! It's time. I'm off to work. What should I do? Hell if I know. Well, I guess it's pretty late. If you've got nothing to do, just go to bed. Aww. Sleep. Okay. And don't accidentally lock the door to the room. I don't want to have to sleep in the hallway. I'm guessing she's done it before. Told me to sleep, but... Oh. Yawn. I'm sleepy. Should I just go to bed? Still want to play. Oh, can I... Oh, no. I was going to say, can I pick a bed, but... There is Papa. Oh, who are you? This bed is really... Really snug. I wonder if they'll let me take it home. You're just gonna just take the bit. Oh, these are just random people. This place got a lot of interesting books. I'm sleepy. A lie! I'm a real hit with the ladies. Lie! Oh, that hurt the throat. Coughing. Ow! It's gonna eat them all! I don't have a girlfriend! Truth! <laughs> how do these... How do they do these tricks? such a mystery! Oh, she's so pretty! She's got a kid with her. Do you think she's married? Nope, nope. That, that kid's a Durgan. I know I could eat that lie and get the experience, but... I'm just gonna take a I'm just taking a quick look around. I think there's nothing. Uh, I could go eat that. Could go eat that. Oh my god. Let's do old man. This table's made of clear glass, which makes it much harder to cheat. Oh, these are like okay, I thought this was air hockey. Let's play! Let's go! What's this? I'm not cheating. Lie. <laughs> Come on. Like, no matter where there's gambling or cards or whatever, someone is cheating. There's at least one person that's cheating. Oh, no, I'm fine. I prefer to just watch. I lost again. Hey, was that you sure? Oh, yeah. Gotta play to wake yourself up. Want to play, miss? Sorry, but I have to play some customers right now. Let's play some other time. Oh, they just... They, I see. They screwed it up there. Because that was that's supposed to be Athena's pictures. That's supposed to be Athena saying that. Checkmate. Why? <laughs> Checkmate! No, you lie! I did not lose. How could I have lost? I'm getting my ass kicked. I love that noise. Mm, this is... He doesn't even care that she's here. Alone now, are you? This is a large town and the roads are complex, so do not go over that direction, please. What just happened? What just happened? Oh, for some reason it just kicked me out. Nope, not lost. I see, ha! Ha ha ha! <laughs> I'm gonna go exploring. I can find my way back. I'm a, a little girl who's grown up a little bit. No, it's not gonna let me. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna end things here. Uh, this shouldn't be that long of a series if I make it like a half hour-ish long episodes. Like I said, the last game took me two hours to beat. So this one should take me roughly the same time. Depending. You know what? I'm going to tell you that's a lie. 
Did I say I don't have a girlfriend or that I have a girlfriend? Whatever, I just ate it. No! Anywho, that's gonna end things here. I am happy to actually be back to this. I can't wait to... BUSTED! Got an achievement for that. Sweet. Nice. Time to go to sleep, now that I got the achieve. If you're enjoying this, if you're enjoying this video, or even this series, then leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe, and hit the little notification bell so you'll know when the next episode comes up. The goddamn notification bell. Even I forget it's there sometimes. But again, if you want to see the first part, the first part of this whole, I guess, trilogy of games, go and watch my turn-based weekends on Light Eat number one. It was a lot of fun. And I think I even put one of it, uh, a part of it, in uh, a highlight video, I think. But either way, that's going to end things here. I'll see you guys next time.